1891 and it is a vehicle. You can barely see the V on there. Just as I was talking about quarters. Man, silver quarter. All right, folks, we are back out at the old house site, so hopefully we find something good. Didn't get a chance to go out yesterday because of the thunderstorms, but I have a good feeling. Just found a piece off of a horse harness. Little iron circle. I want you to do uh, check the signal out here. A little choppy but it is nice um, definitely sounds good so I'm do a lot of dig on her it sounds a little too good though kind of like a uh, top to a can or something or maybe even iron flat iron it's right in here Here it is. Oh, another one. Not too far from the other. Well, I believe I have something good down here. I popped the plug and I saw shiny, so check it out. Sitting right here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yes, I believe that is the back to a pocket watch. Lots of guilt left on there. Very cool. Copper rang up a 42. 42. Awesome. Gotta love it. Ooh, it's very hot. 97 degrees today. But I got another good target. Check it out. We got gold color. It's not gold, but it's a suspender with all its fancy on it. Suspender piece. Lots of fancy. Jeez. Check that out. That is absolutely beautiful. Don't know if this one will have patents on it or not. But absolutely gorgeous. Add another one. Okay, I thought this wasn't anything. Uh, so I picked it up, but it's something and I found one of these last time and I have no idea what it is check it out this one has its guilt left on it still it's one of these little arrow pieces it looks like an arrow but it's got patent numbers and stuff on it it's patented 1894 to 1901 okay let me brush it up and I'll get back to you so we can see it a little better. Okay, here it is. January 23rd, 1894. And that metal thing, what's it say? I can't quite read it. Uh, pat, oh, patented. <laughs> oh, I feel like an idiot. Patented. And then, January 23rd, 1901. So whatever this was, was patented in 1894, went till 1901. I found another one of these, but couldn't get any information off of it. Hopefully I will with those two dates this time because the other one only had one. So absolutely gorgeous, love it. Ow, 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 ow. I am getting eaten alive by these critters, ants. Ow, that burns. And I'm still standing in them. I got, the, ow. I got something round and shiny looking. Ooh. Raw, oh, it's a washer. Oh my God. That had me fooled and I got bit for it. Oh well, you can't win them all. This is kind of interesting. 
it is either the iron button or like a squashed old Christmas bell something along those lines solid iron it's looking like a bell I think of some sort it's just squashed at the end there the way that looks don't think a button would look like that Okay folks, here is the roundup. Um, nothing too crazy this time, but we still did pretty good. Um, I found a bit of copper off of, probably off of the house. You can see where iron was going into it at some point. Found that in the iron infested area. Got two uh, iron rings. Here's uh, bits of lead right here. Not sure what this was off of. Um, now looking at this more closely, the sides, it's definitely a bell. So it was a bell of some sort, it's like a Christmas bell or something along those lines a long time ago, but it's very, very corroded now. I got my uh, little, like, trine bazinga. Uh, bits of copper. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite finds of the day. I patented in 1894 to 1901 not sure what it is yet I'm gonna have to figure it out but I found another piece like this the other day I think it has another piece that's supposed to come down around it but I'm not sure I'll have to find out uh, a modern GM car key a little button um, made by a.m.co Beautiful suspender clasp. Awesome. Back to pocket watch. It was right where I found all those pocket watch innards last time. So most likely from that one. Got a lot of gilt left on it. Gold gilt. And a bunch of shotgun shells. And some clad. A nickel, two dime, two pennies. A zincon. And a copper. So not too bad of a hunt. 97 degrees a day. I'm dying out there. It's uh, like detected from 3 to 5. So it's like right around the hottest time of the day. But I got off work and I wanted to get out. So got to deal with the heat. Oh, well, thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you on the next.